We live at motherfucking five. Oh, oh, my bad. (laughs) (laughs) Trust me, it's very hard to do. (laughs) Man, we live. We We live, we live. And what's happening, y'all? We We got Lakeside Co. in the building. Facts. Along with Austin, we up. You know, it's a brother situation going on. Facts. Real family business, man. Yeah, big, whole lot of B Rust bloodline going on up in here, man. What's happening, Lex Ico? You've been going crazy lately, man. You've been the talk of the town these last couple days. Popped out of nowhere. I kind of been the talk of the town my whole life, my baby. You hear me? Oh, my mom. This this just, this this internet is just new to a real nigga. You hear me? I'm going to just say it like this, bro. My bad out. Excuse yeah. my friend. Yeah. This internet new to a real black this, man. You this is my big brother, right? So like, I grew up like when like, I grew up kind of on the south side, right? He grew up on the east side, bro. I heard so much stories about him, like it was crazy, bro. It's like he was a celebrity to me when I was a kid, bro. Like people That's couldn't dope. wait to come tell me about what my big brother was doing. Yeah, like that, like from a kid, bro. Yeah, that's like, dope. That's dope. Like for real. <laughs> so Lake Psycho, where you originally from? Hey, I'm. I was actually born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but I caught the flight Nigga, right back. What? What? I mean, yeah. Boy, what? Yeah, How did yeah, that happen? Yeah. Your parents in the military? Nah, or? nah, 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 nah. My mom, my mama was actually in high school. Uh, my mama was actually in high school at LBJ, and uh, I think my daddy was going to Anderson. Uh, and uh, hold it. And uh, he had a, uh, you know, my mama was a virgin. Niggas he snuck over there. <laughs> yeah, that sound like some shit your ass would do. Yeah, yeah, he snuck over there. You ain't cussed the first ten minutes, little <coughs> oh, yeah. yeah, he snuck over there, and um, and uh, man, you know, nine months later, bro, I was conceived. Well, how I got to New Mexico though was I got family down there. Shout out my kinfolk, Bug. He cut half. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he used to cut over there at uh at uh being shop right there by by uh Midtown. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, me and him, one of the only two that's of our family that's born off the side of uh, New Mexico. But uh, yeah, we had uh, my mama had caught a flight down there because my grandma was like on some uh, she ain't she ain't want my mama to have me type time back then. You know, my mama was only fifteen, so you know yeah. how, you know how that go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So uh, she went down there to visit my cousin them, and bam. You know what I'm saying? Had there me you down are. there. You know what I'm saying? So she when did you move to Austin? I instantly. Instantly. I, I stayed, I stayed, I stayed till the hospital visit was over. You hear me? Wow. <laughs> That's just on my birth certificate. You feel me? I never been back. Um so I'm from Austin, bro, to yeah. Lakeside to be exact, 78724. You know what I'm saying? 8400 block Valley Field Drive. You feel me? Like that's, that's where I'm from, you feel me? So how was your childhood like, just, you know, as a youth? Man, it was, uh, man, as a kid, bro, I, I, we was just talking about, man, I I was able to be a kid, you know what I'm saying, for a little while, but being a kid in them days meant, you know, doing your thing, yeah. being outside, and you know what I'm saying? So everywhere we went, I always been that that guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always been the, the gravitated one, too, because, uh, I was fortunate enough to have a mother that uh made sure that I had uh Jordan shoes, clothes, roof over my head, food in my mouth. Uh she used to do hair, so it used to be a house full of women, you know what I'm saying? So when we moved from with my grandma, uh we moved to the hog pen actually first, uh when my mama was messing with uh my daddy my daddy my uh, I mean my little brother daddy, his name Johnny Boy. His best friend was Binky and Sean Corsi. Shout out, you feel me? OGs, oh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know that, Everybody. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, back then, you know, Pops was in the game, you know what I'm saying? My daddy was on doing his thing. He was actually in college um, at HT, you know what I'm saying? So my Pops was in college. My mama was, you know, doing a thing with a street nigga. So I, that's, that's really what I grew up around, you know what I'm saying? My mama used to, Count Binky money, and uh, mm. Binky used to uh, let her keep all the small bills. So I, I always grew up around it. I'm I'm really from it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I really seen it. You know what I'm saying? I, I seen I seen all the OGs as I grew up. You know what I'm saying? I seen the East Side flip uh, from Crip to Blood. Mm. I, I I I I really was there. I really was around. So after that, 
after the Howl Pit, we moved to uh, to Grand Villa in 1990. That's where, like, 89, 90, that's where my little brother Johnny was, a.k.a. J. Cove. Shout out. Y'all go, y'all go check my bro out. He rap. I know, you know little J. Cole. Cole. That's my little brother. That's my mama song. Shout out J. Cole, man. Yeah, we always wanted the interview. Son. We never got it in, though. Yeah, that's my mama song. That's crazy. Yeah, that's my mama song. You feel me? That's crazy. That's my daddy song. You feel me? That's, that's my, my baby. Brother. That's my baby brother on my daddy's side. That's my baby brother. I mean, that's my middle brother on my mama's side. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother, too. So, J. Cole we all Cole. brothers. You know what I'm saying? My mama, my mama ain't had no girls. My daddy ain't had no girls. So, you know what man. that means. Ain't no... Yeah. You feel me? Ain't yeah. nothing in ain't nothing in the family that got pink. You feel me? So ain't nothing pink about me but my pants I got on right now. You yeah. feel me? So, <laughs> so did you, you play know. any sports as a kid, or was you like you jumped off the porch early? No, nah, man. You know, bro, I was I was I was that dude. You feel me? I play I played for the uh, it first started off for the for the Maine Mustangs. Then I uh went to the Pirates, but I was so bad, bro, and. And I always get in the fights in school that my mama always used to take a nigga out because it was like no pass, no play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you, you don't pass, you don't, you don't play. play yeah. I grew up in that era. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I grew, I, I really grew up with structure, but I also grew up outside. You know what I'm saying? Like inside is structure. Outside, mama don't know what you're doing. You feel me? Like I'm outside with the guys. I'm thugging. I always been around the older crowds. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like. When I so when we moved to like Grand Villa, I met my cousins Quinn and Corey. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my kid for Quinn and Corey Harden, Tammy and Tracy. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, man, we we with it. You know what I'm saying? So I used to go to Gold Valley Elementary, man. I used to be scared, and terrified of Smurf and Packy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they was just they at that time and at the age they was more ruthless than me. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I was still a kid. I was still five, six years old. So they from Springdale Gardens, you know what I'm He's saying? They, 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 they really in the lane already. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. elementary school. These guys is really in the lane already. They, they seeing it's going on. You feel me? Like I'm still kind of sheltered because I'm, I'm five. You feel me? So, so one day my mama was like, uh, my mama was like, uh, well you better go out there and fight them. Uh, you know what's up. It ain't nothing. It ain't none of that. Yeah. And after that day, you know what I'm saying? I went out there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We got out where well, we used to walk home. We got by the bridge right there by by uh by Grand Villa, and uh yeah, I had I had I had I had uh I had to handle my business with old Smurf. You know what I'm saying? And that was your first fight? Nah, that wasn't my first fight. Uh man, my first fights, man. I, I fought my best friend Buki all my life. You know what I'm saying, Brendan? Yeah, brother. That's really one of the only. That's 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 how I learned how to fight, uh, fighting, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that that that's that's like when we grew up, bro. That's how you that's that's how you learn how to fight. Yeah. You, feel me? you 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 fight your, your you fight your family and your friends, uh, and that's that's how you learn how to fight, bro. That's how you learn how to get it. You feel me? Like me, my bro, Brendan McDay. You know, I, like like my nigga, rest in peace, my boy Dion Elliott. You know, uh, free my boy Quincy, Quincy Martin. You know what I'm saying? My boy Smitty, Charles Smith from Lakeside, man. Man, the list go on. Free the guys, man. You know man. what I'm saying? The list go on with real ones. You feel me? Like, I was I was, I was, was one of them. You know what I'm saying? My boy Draco. Shout out my boy Draco. Free you, my boy. You know what I'm saying? I love you. You know what I'm saying? We, we, actually, we actually had a fight. I'm going to tell this story. We actually had a fight, right? This is when the Jordan 11s came out. So, uh... This when we had the uh, the patent leather one. The uh, I had the all white ones, and I had the uh, black and white ones. And uh, I had red guts in all my shoes at that time. Probably about ten, eleven. Not probably about ten, eleven. Uh, so we outside hooping, and uh, Dre a crib. So Dre was like, "Yeah, I step on your shoestring." I said, "Nigga, you ain't gonna step on these shoestrings, nigga. I got another pair of Jordans at home with some red shoestrings in them. You ain't gonna step on them shoestrings, nigga. I don't know what you talking about." So we down the hill. We walk all the way to my house. So this nigga think he can step on my shoestring? <laughs> it's me, Booger, Buki. Uh, it's a couple of us. You know what I'm saying? We get to we get to my house. We get in my front yard. Draco try to take off his jacket. 
what you do that for, my boy? Mop, 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 mop. You know what I'm saying? Bro, come up out the jacket. Mop, mop, mop. He mopping me now. We mopping each other, nigga. So when we talk about this story, we tell everybody it was a tie. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's 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 how it go. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I literally grew up fighting my brothers. You know what I'm saying? People that I call my brothers, people that I can pull up on and, and get interviews from. I really grew up squabbling these people. Uh really been uh thugging with these people, really been doing things with these people since I was a kid, bro. Yeah. Like like you gotta understand, like my pops died when I was ten years old. So, I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I, I was a kid, bro. I didn't oh, have yeah. no guidance. You know what I'm saying? Like, my little brother was like one, two years old. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, a nigga was a kid. You feel me? That's crazy. Sorry to hear that. So, do you think that's when kind of things kind of turned for you? You started being in the streets more? Is when your pops passed? I, I, uh, I got a little bit more raw, right? Cause I've always been in the streets, like I said. Uh, me and my partner Buki was already trying to smoke leaves and and, 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 and stealing and stealing Uncle Buck weed and yeah. and doing all type of things. You feel me? We in the garage, like I said last night. We playing dope man. Now, I, 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 people probably don't even know what that game is. You know what I'm saying? We playing dope man. My nigga got a my my Uncle Buck had a had a had a Corvette that set off the side of the garage. That was on that didn't have no wheels on it, so it was on like stakes. It was on like the car, you know, like the car stands. Yeah. So we'll get in the car, uh, and uh it got the T tops on it. And then we get in the car, bust the wild, we busting the wild in the garage. We busting the wild in the garage to get the sheetrock out, acting like it's dope. I get on the back of the trunk and beat, boom, 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 boom. We going to hit Buki Lick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he get on the truck and he get on the trunk and beat. Yeah, I got a car. I need to go over here. Yeah, boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. We play dope man. That's what we play. We play dope man. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I all them and we play kitty games too. But we we play dope man. You know what I'm saying? It was me and my brother. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, that that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we we play dope man. Then we went outside in the backyard. They had a basketball go. We played Jordan and pimping. We played Jordan and pimping. We didn't even play nobody. We didn't want to play against each other. We want to play on teams. Yeah. We played against the air. Yeah. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> you know, you feel me? Imagination. You know what I'm saying? Like like I was saying earlier, man. We was kids, bro. We had imaginations, bro. So. I uh I I ain't one of them niggas to get up here and lie, bro. Like I I've always had it in me, bro. I've always had the streets in me, bro. I always had, you know what I'm saying? This 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 type of person that I am in me. But I'm glad that that's out of me. Yeah. You feel me? Like like that that that's still that's still in me. Don't get it don't get it twisted. That's still in me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's in me, it ain't on me. You feel me? Facts. So it's still there, but the man that I am today, I'm a father, I'm a husband, bro. I'm 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 a king. You know what I'm saying? That's my last name too, to be exact. I'm a king. Forever gonna be a king. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna make me less than, you feel me? Dang. That's why that's why you 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 could just see the glow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like like this just to be be honest. You know what I'm saying? People shit. people talking about they the biggest but uh, we gonna get to that. We gonna like, get to that. Nah, I'm not even talking about him. Yeah. I'm not even talking about him. I'm just saying people talking about they the biggest. But name me one nigga on. Name me one person on YouTube right now that didn't pop like I popped in three days. Nigga, I've been on the internet for three days. I'm already at Pop Austin. Let's it's go. rappers in the city that ain't even been to Pop Austin. It's niggas in the city that ain't never been here. And this and, and hold on. My first interview on Yoda Bang page, I told I told my boy Mobile, man, nah, I ain't got no channel, bro. I could have had followers then. Nah, I ain't got no channel, bro. I don't want I don't want to be no podcast. I'm a real nigga. You feel me? So shit. so 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 you gotta understand, bro. This 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 right here wasn't even something that was planned, bro. You know what I'm saying? This this wasn't even something that was planned. This is just something that happened. It, happened. it was just it was just I guess it was a, a epiphany, a destiny. Yeah. It was something that it was something that God had planned for a nigga. You know what I'm saying? To speak for my city, to speak for my guys, to speak for the niggas with the voice that 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 don't do the internet. You know what I'm saying? 
Pop your shit. To speak for them niggas. To pull up on them niggas and, and, and make them niggas feel comfortable to be on the internet. Because they only, they only comfortable because they with me, nigga. They ain't comfortable on the internet. They only comfortable because they know I ain't going to put them in no fuck shit, nigga. Yeah. So what happened after high school? What kind of path did you go after high school? Ah, uh, man. So uh, we're going we to rewind a little bit. I moved. To, I went to Dobie. I got kicked out of Dobie. And I went to Dell Valley. You know what I'm saying? My mama moved to Dell Valley. You know what I'm saying? And uh, from Dell Valley... I was the only blood in Dale Valley. So you know how that rock. You feel me? How did you get into that? What's that? Like, how did you become a blood? My pops. My pops. My pops was the leader of the bloods. My pops was the leader of the bloods. My pops was the reason why everybody out here claimed 787 this, 787 that. If you claiming anything with 787 in the front of it, nigga, my pops is your OG. Let's talk there, Let's nigga. Talk there. Let's address the elephant in the room. That's another one of my sayings, nigga. Let's address the elephant in the room, nigga. If you got real Austin history, nigga, you know Byron Russell started that. Byron Russell started the 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 seven eight seven o two. Seven eight seven o two was the first neighborhood to be repped in this town. Other than that, nigga was repping their hood. You feel me? So now. You know, now now we gonna go down through that. Now you got my boys in Craig Wood. Shout out my boy Chad Waters. Shout out Big June. Shout out my bro Chris Moore. Shout out Ronald. Shout out man. Listen, man, I can go on over there. You hear me? Ride down, ride down through there. Then you go right across the street, Cavalier Park. Shout out my nigga Lil Kendall. Shout out my nigga Lil Freddie Bass. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Uh, uh. You know, even the young niggas, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Lil Domino, you know what I'm saying? And even though he don't even rock with me, shout out Lil Easter. You feel me? Nigga, these niggas is from there. My, I, ain't, I ain't one of them niggas. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't one of them niggas. I, I'm going I'm to I'm bless everybody, man. I ain't finna get on the internet and be talking about no nigga from my city, from my state, from my town, I ain't finna be talking down unless you a, you a bullshit nigga. Mm. If you a bullshit nigga, you a bullshit nigga. Nigga, nigga can't, you, it, bro, it, it, what a nigga gonna say if you a bullshit nigga, you a bullshit nigga, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then you cross the tracks. Now you got Bundy Hill. Shout out my boy Lance. Rest in peace. My Uncle Jason. Roman. You know, man, bro, Roscoe. Rob. Uh. Tristan, Terrence, you feel me? Then you go across the street. Shout out Lil Breon Cor I mean Lil Breon, Lil Breon Williams. You feel me? Then you go to Sam Houston. Shout out my niggas, man. Shout out Poutine. Shout out my kid folk, Adrian Smith. Shout out Alan Guyton. Shout out Big Datron. Yeah, I can go through that, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Then you go to the Hall Pen. Shout out Pop. Shout out Johnny Boy. Rest in peace, Binky. Shout out T, money, but I call him Malcolm. You feel me? Shout out my boy Reverend Do Wrong. Mm -hmm. Shout out Chris Davis. Shout out Marco. Hold on, man. We're going to go to the shack. Shout out Quincy. Shout out E Walk. Rest in peace. Uh, 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 uh. Goddamn Arthur Gene. You feel me? Now we're going to go to Springdale Gardens, man. Yeah, man. We're going to do this here, man. When we talk, we're going to talk, nigga. Yeah. Shout out Run Rope. Shout out Keeman. You feel me? Rest in peace, Dirt, nigga. Shaq, Texas. Rest in peace, Dirt, nigga. Shout out Pooh. Shout out, man. Listen, man. Yeah, we're going to get to the young niggas. Shout out Wally Will. Shout out Lil T. Man, listen, T Blader. Man, listen, bro. I can go on. I grew up with all these people, man. Shout out my big bro, Pep, nigga. Willie Pep. Shout out my kid folk, Big Bob. Blow my Bob. Shout out to my fam riding green, red, pulling out on you niggas. Been doing this shit since the 90s. Go down the street. Shout out Uncle Snuff, man. Shout out Mexican Fredo. Yeah, nigga. Then we can go to your hood. Shout out to the whole Yet family. Shout out to BJ. 
Shout out to my grandpa, Big Pops. Nigga stayed on 14th and a half, nigga. Right there off of Harvey Street. Nigga. Yeah. Shout out my uncle Bobby Gant. OG blood, nigga. Go to Rosewood. Shout out Jimbo. Shout out Big Bo. Shout out Nene Brown. Yeah, man. Shout out Skip. Shout out my, my cousin. You feel me? Shout out, shout out Charles. Shout out Mike Lee. Shout out Mike Lee, man. Them niggas know what's up. This Boo Boo Gang with us. Mike Lee. You, uh, uh, Mike Lee. Boo Boo Gang forever. Boo Boo forever. <laughs> Big Charles, Sean. Boo Boo forever. Booger. We did it for the boo-boo, nigga. That was the gang. That's some Booker T shit. Yeah, I done been all over this bitch. I can name all these niggas that niggas that... Hey, man, listen. Don't play with me, man. When niggas say they the biggest nigga, I'm the biggest nigga. I'm the voice of the streets, nigga. Pop your shit. So when's the first time uh, you experienced going to jail? Uh, I went to juvenile when I was young. Uh, but I was I was bad, but I never got caught, right? Mm. So I always got caught for skipping school and shit like oh, that, right? Man. So, uh, I go to I go to juvenile. <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, I like smoking weed. Been loving smoking weed all my life. Ain't so better. that was so that was my thing, right? So then they put me in this little old inpatient program. Woo woo, where they used to call the nigga, uh, check in on the nigga, all that, right? So then, bam, uh, my my probation officer name was June Compost. You know what I'm saying? So June was cool as fuck, tall white lady, cool. So uh, I come up with a dirty UA again. June like Kobe. Okay, animal dirty UAs. We gonna send you to uh, Riverside General Hospital mm. inside of Houston. Out Belford and Scott. <laughs> Out Belford and Scott, nigga. I get in the I get in the van. So this how this story go. I get in the van. I come from home. <coughs> My nigga little George Cole. This how I meet George Cole. My nigga little George Cole and that boy Shackle. My mama gave me some money, nigga. I got food. I got everything. We stopping at the store. I'm able to go in the store. Bro got no shackles. I'm free as a bird. So you know I buy bro shit. Woo woo woo. Nigga, we the only nigga, we the only niggas we know from Austin down here. We riding. And this same person I'm saying George Cole is one of the I'm I'm gonna tell another story. But nigga, when we got down there, we riding. We had uh this nigga that came to teach us Kung Fu. But I ain't no kicking ass nigga. So uh, I tell a nigga, man, just teach me how to teach me how to fight with my hands. Mm. The nigga tell me, hey man, go find the smallest thing on the wall and throw a hundred punches at that bitch with both hands, mm. and you gonna be able to tell a nigga where you gonna hit him at. Mm. <laughs> Swear to God, when I came home, I tell a nigga, we slap boxing. Yeah, I'm here to hit your bitch ass in your nose. Boom, 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 hit him in his body. Bam, pop his bitch ass in his nose. Like so. You know that it, it was it was it, it was all it was all taught like you know what I'm saying like it all came natural you know what I'm saying just like this everything I ever done came natural I was dunking in the eighth grade everything came natural I'm 40 years old still can do a backflip nigga mm. you feel me like I'm I'm that I'm I'm just an athletic nigga like it's just natural gifted it's just natural you know what I'm saying I, I was supposed to be I was destined to be great I don't know what sign what where I was gonna be great at but I was destined to be great. So, boom, me and George get down there, you know, we get, you know, we doing our thing, you know what I'm saying? I had like one squabble down there with a nigga from Galveston, you know what I'm saying? We got our paper, you know what I'm saying? Bro had a little something, I had something, you know? Men stand like men, like I said earlier, nigga, wolf, wolf recognized wolves, you know what I'm saying? We just stopped fighting, you know? It was a good fight. I ain't win, he ain't win, another tie. You feel me? I ain't, you know, one of them niggas. You feel me? He was one of them. 
You know what I'm saying? He wasn't going. <laughs> you feel me? You, you got it. Certain niggas just ain't going. And he was one of them. He wasn't going. And I respect his gangster. Crip nigga too. I forgot his name. Real nigga though. You feel me? Shout out. But uh, they said they want to see the backflip. You got how much money you got, nigga? I got a torn row take the cup, so you got to pay back five hundred for that. It's gonna cost you. Yeah, that, that that shit costly. Yeah, but uh, so, so uh, after that, nigga, I I get out and uh, man, my mama put my ass out one day, cause uh, my at that time my little brother Johnny he wasn't he wasn't street, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't me. You feel me? Yeah. So when you young like that and you thugging and you grimy and you you want your little brother to be just like you, uh -huh. but but he was different. He wasn't me. So one day on his way to school, I said, "Mama, man, you always taking up for this nigga Johnny." Woo woo woo. Nigga, she stole my bitch ass. Nigga, put my bitch ass out in the rain. Uh -huh. Sixteen, nigga, I've been out here on my own ever since. She me and my mama got the best relationship in the world right now. And that's my queen. I love her to death. Shout out, mama. Shout out, mama. You feel me? So. Uh, with that being said, after that nigga shit, I was just in the streets thugging. So you didn't, you didn't ever go to a prison TDC or nothing? Yeah, shit. I, I had uh went to I went I actually uh I actually went to TDC when I turned twenty one. Uh, I had my daughter. Uh, I, I had went to prison on my daughter's first birthday. Actually, mm. no, I, on her second birthday. I'm sorry. What led to that? I went to prison. Yeah, I, I had a. Uh, I had got jammed up 666. I was on them planks. I used to be bad on them bars and shit. Then I was on the bars. Oh, yeah, I see you post the mug shot. I was on the bars and shit, you know what I'm saying? And it had happened to got pulled over. I was coming back from McDonald's and shit. And uh, my nigga headlight was out. That bitch be blinking on and off. Mm. My nigga headlight was out. Them hoes pulled me over. They took me to jail. I caught a dope case. You know what I'm saying? That was my second dope case. You know what I'm saying? I had uh, caught a dope case. And, uh, you know, my daughter, you know, she was just born. So uh, she was a couple of months. So I wanted to see her first birthday. So I signed for uh, the short program. And when I signed for the short program, no, I signed for probation. I signed for probation. So uh, I was working at uh, Pearson Education. It was out there on, on Howard Lane. Mm. And, uh, I think mean, I couldn't stop smoking weed. I got tired of drinking uh, water. Every, they put me on color code. I got tired of drinking water. One day I went off in that bitch and fired the cup up. <laughs> put a hot dick in that motherfucker. What? Yeah, I, I burnt that bitch up. Straight marijuana. TD, <laughs> THC in that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Put a hot dick straight up in that motherfucker. I'm talking about... Wait, wait, that, that, nah, I'm being 100. <laughs> Shit, I, I burnt the cup up. I burnt the cup up. <laughs> nigga, I knew I was finna go to jail. Nigga, I walked straight up out that bitch. I walked straight up out that bitch. My, I called my probation officer and told that nigga, catch me if you can. <laughs> Went on the run. On the that? run. I was think I was 21. Like, finna be 22. Uh, So, nigga, I went on the run. My daughter turned one. Shit. I was still on the run. Nigga, I had, uh, I got caught. And Walnut, me and my nigga, uh, little Chris Blake, I try to use a fake name. Them hoes come off in the Dauphine house. We in that bitch shooting dice. Dauphine don't open the door for He open the door for the law. We all in the room. He tell the law. Instead of telling the law, it's people in the house. This whole ass nigga tell the law ain't nobody in the house. The law come in the room. Hey, fellas, it's six of us in this bitch. <laughs> The law say, man, we wouldn't have to even ask nobody their name if the motherfucker would have just told us it was people in the goddamn house. Yeah. Them hoes say, what's your name? Uh, Devin Townsend. I get them hoes my baby brother name. Yeah, Devin Townsend. <laughs> what's, your, what's your date of birth? 10-21-84. Them hoes pull up that. <laughs> First time I ever seen this shit. Nigga pull up the motherfucker me. Uh, Nigga pull up the, the, the goddamn laptop. Is this you? <laughs> I said, oh, damn, yeah, that's me, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me, my nigga. I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was dumb at that time because I had signed for uh for 
probation with a 10 year waiver over my head like a stupid ass mm. you know what I'm saying uh, but the judge was lenient and uh, I told a lawyer like hey man give me 6 months stay jail I'll take 6 months stay jail it was like 5 rocks I'm like give me 6 months stay jail I'll take 6 months stay jail he was like uh, nah we can't get you stay jail DA don't want to get you I'm like what I said, man, tell them I was giving me a deuce then. I signed for that punk ass deuce. I signed for a deuce. I did like, uh, I left January 22nd, 2008. I got home uh, in August of 2008. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I did a couple of months. But that was long enough for me not to go back to that motherfucker. How was it in there? I mean, bro, it's, it's, I mean, to me, when, 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 when I went to prison, I went to, uh, I, I didn't go to no ID, ID, ID unit. I didn't go to no red brick prison. So I don't have red brick stories. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, you know, like uh, state jail stories. So they first they sent me to Boiler State Jail. And uh, this when I, uh, this when I stopped looking crazy at the LBGT community, right? Yeah. So it was this nigga named Tiny in there from uh, Colleen. Nigga, I don't like punks. So nigga, don't, don't look at me, don't nothing. So one day this nigga catch me in the in in the, uh in the chat hall. The nigga said, "Nigga, why you be acting like that, nigga? Like a nigga wants you or something, nigga? Nigga, I got taste like a bitch, nigga. I don't want no nigga, nigga." I said, "Man, you know what, fool? I, I respect that, my nigga." Nigga said, "Yeah, nigga, I don't want you, nigga." I said, "You got you goddamn right, bro. You goddamn right." And he said, "Bro," and then we talk one day. And that nigga said, "Bro, we can tell who gay, my nigga. Yeah, we can tell who like dick, my nigga." <laughs> Nigga, you don't look like you like dick. So I would I don't, I don't even look at you like that, nigga. And after that, cool. Chuck up the deuce. We ain't had no friendship or nothing, but chuck up the deuce. Woo, I just look at them differently now. Hey, my yeah. nigga, you do what you do. I'm do what I do. That's your preference, my nigga. What you shit, eat, shit, like in your butt, put in a nigga butt, I, ain't my business. Yeah, that nigga me. Mm. So, uh... That was that, that was there, you know, uh, especially when I, you know, when I got there, you know, nigga had to check in. Nigga had to check paper one time, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that wasn't nothing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, nigga come from that. But then a nigga had, uh, they were finna send me to Ferguson. Uh, but when I got to Holiday, they had, uh, nigga was telling me, man, youngster, you, you, you probably finna go to Ferguson. It's only two chains that go out at that time, and that's Ferguson and, and, and Mineral Wells. If you here past this time, nigga, you going to Mineral Wells, youngster. Nigga, that time came. Nigga, I knew I was going to Mineral Wells, nigga. Mm, the, it was what, good. What, so, nigga, when I went to Mineral Wells, and I pulled up on that bus, and that bitch looked like Booker T outside. Niggas outside look like they in the feds with sweatpants on and white t-shirts on. Everybody on the wreck yard all day, nigga. It's little dorms. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's three tier, but it's dorms. You know what I'm saying? Like you got you got buildings. You know what I'm saying? You got like four buildings on each side. You know what I'm saying? And uh once I walked off in there, they put me in uh, I think it was building seven one. Uh I walked back there as soon as I got in there, my nigga run row. And my nigga LD, LD a crip, but he fucked with the bloods. He from Austin, though. Nigga, we was like 30 deep down there, too. Uh, rest in peace, my nigga Spider. So, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga Run Row was the D captain. First thing my nigga Run Row say, nigga, that's my young nigga. I come in that bitch with my mat, you know, walking up the stairs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Run Row see me. They in the day room, he looked, he see me. And they said, is that Russ? Say yeah, the nigga said, nigga, that's my young nigga right there, nigga. That nigga ain't gotta do no fighting, nigga. Nigga, that nigga got more hard than a lot of you niggas, nigga. I know what my young nigga gonna do. So boom, I didn't have to do nothing right there. You feel me? I didn't have to do no. I ain't have to do no punching over there. I ain't one of them niggas to do cap like I was doing all yeah. the punching in the pen. I wasn't doing no punching in the pen. I was doing the chilling. My mama sent me. My mama sent me two hundred dollars every two weeks, nigga. Mm. So I was just, all I was doing was eating stove and smoking. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Jello. My nigga Jello know I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I was eating and smoking. How was y'all getting the, the smoking then? Ah, oh, so one day, I got this story. One day we on the wreck yard and uh nigga shit. It's mineral wells is it's mineral wells right here and then it's the 
the the the the army base uh training facility across the street, right? Yeah. So we see a nigga running across the field. We on the wreck yard because you be on the wreck yard down there all day. This bitch laid back, my nigga. This bitch like the world. You feel me? This bitch laid. This bitch wide open. You hooping all day, nigga. Only time you gotta go in is when it's time to go in. You know what I'm saying? You, they count you on the yard. This bitch wide open. It's a basketball goal in the front yard. It's a basketball goal in the back on the back wreck yard. It's two wreck yards. You know what I'm saying? Then you got a basketball goal down there on the uh, on on the on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, nigga, we on the wreck yard, and uh, we see this nigga running across. We see him running with two bags. We're like, what the fuck going on? This nigga running. So when the laws, you know, the patrol ride by, this nigga drop down. Boom. They roll by that nigga. Jump back up. <laughs> they drop. He come by by. They drop down. Boom. Hey, nigga. They roll by that time. That nigga run, ran up. That nigga tried to throw the first one. That bitch got caught in the gate. That nigga turned around like two, three times, nigga, and slung that second one. Nigga, that bitch came over the gate, nigga. By then, them siren was going off. Dun -dun -dun. Nigga, they then came. Nigga, them niggas then grabbed that bag, and and the nigga, the white boys who bag it was, they sitting up there on the third floor with the with the with the uh with the sheet hanging out the window. Nigga, nigga, send that shit up, nigga, quick. Woo, -woo, -woo nigga, they grabbed the bag. They got the other bag though. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they was getting that shit in there. They was making drops. They call that shit drops. You know what I'm saying? I, I witnessed that. I I actually whoop. I actually witnessed some niggas get whooped in there. You know what I'm saying? I actually had to slap a OG nigga from Austin off in there. You know what I'm saying? Old school, you know, dope nigga. But he a player though. You know what I'm saying? Gambler, good nigga. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga was just out of line. We was shooting dice. He was calling me out kind of bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? I told a nigga like, don't do that shit in front of these out of town niggas because they gonna think they can do it. And uh. We got back at the count, that nigga steady. Nah, nigga, you was a bitch. Woo, woo, woo. I just went right upside his shit. Pop, nigga. Now do something, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Austin, we deep in there, man, they broke that shit up. You know what I'm saying? That hoe went downstairs and got his razor like he was finna kill a nigga. Jeez. On some naughty shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, other than that, bro. My experience in prison was was very laid back, bro. I ate good, I chill good. Uh, yeah, I I I didn't have a bad experience in prison. So when you got out, what was like the the kind of route you took to to make sure you didn't go back? Uh, actually, I didn't take a route because I was still doing the same stupid shit, right? Just didn't get caught. Exactly. So you just learned how to do it better. Exactly. Don't come out at night. That's when I got into trouble. Every time I ever got into trouble is at two o'clock in the morning. Mm. Yeah. So I, I I just learned how to sit my stupid ass down, and I stopped selling dope. I started selling weed. Uh. Well, you feel me? When I read the law and I seen I could get the same time for five pounds that I can get for one rock, <laughs> I chose I chose the five pounds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's get to this uh this naughty situation. So when's kind of like the first time? Well, I guess we can start with Austin. We up cuz I know you had a situation with him. Um, you know, y'all was going at each other online. He talking about he pulled up on you and um just talk about kind of how you first started seeing the flaws in naughty. Cuz the the first flaw I started seeing, bro, like he started trying to turn me against everybody. Mm. Like, he started telling me, man, Pop Austin said this, Trey, Trey 600 said this, man, they said this. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then like, <coughs> I don't know, bro. Like he came to like me and a couple of other dudes, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, uh, yeah, Pop Austin got 200,000 or 50,000, something like that. He's like, y'all got 50,000. And uh, y'all was supposed to get like 200000 or something like that. And he was like, nigga, that's naughty money. That's naughty money. And then they fired me and they ain't going to pay me. Nigga, we was like, bro, naughty. That, you know what I'm saying? We was like, bro. And then he was like, uh, something. He was just like saying they owe money. So, you know what I'm saying? We 
Ride it with Naughty, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We like, bro, if y'all owe him some bread, pay him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he go back, like he come back to Pop Austin, right? Like, which was no problem, but then he was just like, fuck us. And we, I mean, forget us. And we like, that ain't Naughty, we was riding with you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't got no problem with Pop Austin. If I write Pop Austin right now, they gonna write me back. And if they write me, I'm gonna write them back. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Like, you was the problem, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then... Uh, he was on, we, we was on live, we was on live, and, uh, he was like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, say no more, drop, drop, drop location, yeah. drop locations right now, say no more, so I was like, bet, okay, I'm, a, uh, I sent him my address, and he was like, uh, he was like, you ain't like that boy, you ain't really like that boy, he called me, he called me, he was like, you ain't really like that boy, you ain't like that, or something like that, and I was like, I was like, you know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, I don't know. He was just like, he just kept like trying to get me to like, he kept trying to get me to do what Naughty wanted. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He didn't want me to, you know what I'm saying? Like if I had an opinion that what like, cause I'm like, bro, like this is my page. Like yeah. if I want to put you at number 10, I'm going to put you at number 10. Yeah. Now nah, just take me off of it. You know what I'm saying? It was just like a whole bunch of me trying to like give Naughty like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and this is before he went viral or yeah. whatever. You know what I'm yep. saying? I was trying to rock with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, because y'all was, was behind him. Trey was behind him. I'm like, shoot, let's get behind him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. But yep. it was just like, every time it was like, Naughty biggest thing was the biggest. Mm -hmm. The biggest. I, I like to say, like I said a hundred times, I don't care about this. Like, I don't care about this. I care about Austin. Facts. You feel me? I don't care about this. Like this shit, this shit just this I don't shit even, just easy. I'm I'm a king of YouTube. I don't even know how to work YouTube, bro. Like, I get on YouTube and watch y'all. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like Yeah, you be killing it on IG. You know what I'm saying? I love Instagram. It's yeah. easier for me because I be on Instagram. I was yeah. telling my brother that today. Well, not just telling you that, bro. What's that, bro? He just said he be on Instagram. That's what I love Instagram, but I don't know who be you, on the ground. Me. Yeah, he'd be on the ground. He'd be killing uh, it. So, yeah, little yeah, bro. You know so, 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 what was so, the first so. time you got wave of Naughty Lakeside, like, just on air? Like, you know what I'm saying? When's the, on like, air? Yeah, when's the first, like, video I, uh, you came across? Uh, I was actually watching OG uh, OG Person. Shout out. Shout you know out OG. OG. I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I really, I really, I really, I really like that nigga's stories, whether they real or true. I mean, true or false. But I, 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 I that nigga is the realest storyteller I ever seen. Nah, for real. Uh, that nigga, that nigga, he, he, uh, people talk about how, uh, allegedly how he smoked crack or whatever, bro, but just cause you smoke crack don't make you not a, a, a real human. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that nigga, that nigga got a, if he smoked crack, that mean he really got a, a better perspective on life than you because he had to get off of crack, mm. right? Yeah, to see something you ain't never seen before. Mm. You feel me? So that means that he got a, he got a, he got a, he got a, he got more he got more self will than you, mm. cause you ain't never smoked crack. So if he was able to get off of crack, you know what I'm saying? That means that he, he 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 able to tell his survival story, right? Yep. Everybody got a story. So uh, uh, I I I love to see I love to see niggas who was underdogs prosper, mm. and OG Percy looked like he was an underdog nigga. He looked like he was a nigga that everybody uh, turned their back on. Yep. That everybody uh. Everybody said that he wasn't gonna be shit because he was on crack, and uh, look at him now. Mm. You feel me? So after that, you know, I, you know how it come up. You know, you just looking at shit, and I, I had seen T T E naughty prison stories, <laughs> and you know, I, 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 <laughs> I, I respect the grind, right? Yeah. I'm not a nigga. I'm not a nigga to come in here and uh, I mean to 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 to, to be bashing a nigga, right? Uh, if if you ain't did nothing to me, really, right? yeah, you you understand what I'm saying, bro? So keep on living your life. I know who you are. I know you a bitch. I know you ain't doing all this shit you saying you doing in prison. I know you ain't whooping niggas. I know you wasn't BG silly. I ain't seen not one picture of you and BG, but I got I have real pictures on my Facebook, nigga, of BG and my cousin Eddie Hempel, nigga, in the feds. So certain shit, I don't believe you, nigga. 
You probably was locked up with him. I said that. That nigga probably was locked up with him because shit, everybody was locked up together. Yeah. You know, everybody nigga, everybody might run into a nigga, but you yeah. wasn't that nigga yeah. Selly. Oh, yeah. You wasn't that nigga Selly for four years. Now, nah, crash dummy. Mm. Uh, you didn't hear what Naughty said? The real Naughty said on my interview with him? He, he, said, he said, he said, he said, he said, Pierre, I mean, point five. <laughs> and uh, a nigga named Duke had a fight uh, <coughs> for who was going to be BG Crash Dummy. Wow. What? That's crazy. <laughs> <Just> what? <laughs> so. Uh, he fought somebody because they. BG lived in MB. Pierre lived in MA. Cell 215. Wasn't that your cell, boy? Wasn't that your cell, boy? Yeah, no. yeah. Real nigga shit. Addressing the elephant in the room. That's what we doing right now. So what did you think when you saw him just on there capping? Was you like, well, did it make you mad? or? I, no, it really it, it really didn't because it, at the end of the day, it wasn't my lane. It was his lane, right? Uh-huh. Um, once again, like I said, I... Uh, I was in the transition of getting out of the streets yeah. and uh and uh turning my life around. So if I ever did try some shit like this, I I I I, I ain't got nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing. I don't do nothing. You know, I I don't have enemies, so I don't pack a gun. I don't I don't carry myself in that fashion to where I feel like I have to pack a gun. I respect everybody. White, black, green, purple. I speak. How you doing? I got manners. I was taught, I was taught well. Uh, my mama, my mama, my grandma taught me taught me how to be a man. You know what I'm saying? For this uh, morals and values and uh, respect. Yeah. Cause it'll take you longer than any money will. Uh, as long as you got respect, you can walk in any room. Mm. So. Um, Wait, what they said? I just they, hold on. They said Nadi said he put dude in the car with his gra grandma. Hold on, we gonna get to that. Oh, we got it. So, 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 hold on. So, when I seen that, I was just like, yeah, that's what's up. The nigga doing this thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but at the time, my partner, my partner had a problem with him. Uh, cause he ran off with something from my partner. So my partner had a problem with him. So that, that's when I first seen him on the internet, and I was like, "Bitch, I seen, I seen, I seen your boy on the internet." And he was talking, uh, like he was big dog. <laughs> but uh, we just laughed because uh, you was entertainment, hmm. um, and um, you was putting on, you was in your own lane, you was putting on for the city. Had you not done what you done um, with snitching and then telling my little brother. Uh, that I used to rob and jack with you. That's re that's really why I got my little brother up here so he could tell that story, um, and tell his story. You know, what I'm saying to tell everybody how we popping because I'm running the YouTube and he running Instagram. So uh, y'all follow us. You know, what I'm saying um, any rappers that's trying to get your shit out there, uh, hit up eight. You know, what I'm saying Austin, we up on Instagram. If you a rapper out here and you don't know about Austin, we up. You ain't doing your job. He, he that's the, for real. He the, he the Austin Sean Cotton when it come to posting rappers. I wouldn't say all that. Nah, ain't nobody else doing it. Yeah, ain't nobody else posting rappers like you do, bro. You got that lane. I mean, that's, I mean, that's a fact. You, you, you the only nigga that's in the avenue that 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 posts rappers the way you do. You Shout out my niggas. boy Trey Six Hundo. Shout out Trey. Trey be doing his thing too. But as far as Austin, bro, you got it. That Trey would say that too. Yeah, he strictly do. Yeah, that's what you do. See, the thing about it is Trey got Trey got other lanes. That's strictly what you do. You feel me? That's that's strictly what you do. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I, I'm not I'm not saying that you 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 better than him and he better than you, but that's that's, that's strictly what you do. That's your profession. Okay, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's your lane. That's, 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 that's your lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dominating that's your that lane. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's my opinion. That's a bias opinion. Nigga, you my brother. Right. <laughs> so, bitch, you the best. Facts. <laughs> you feel me? All right. So, um, what, what do you think about when Naughty was claiming that he had a body? He was lying about that body. Oh, so that's when. Oh, that's kind of when. Now he said he had a body. Man, oh, listen, yeah, that was the, that was the funny part, right? Oh, so man. now I'm watching. I'm watching No Jumper. 
like, oh, I'm watching No Jumper, and uh, I see, you know, I'm, I'm, I respect every man, so I see him on there popping and shit. And uh, I, I just couldn't get over how he was just talking down on everybody, right? I was like, damn, I'm like, bro, you don't big up nobody? Like you, like you, like everybody a bitch. Hmm. Everybody this, you the biggest this. Okay, if you feel like you the biggest, that's okay. You can be the biggest in your own mind. That's that that nobody's telling you that because in your mind you're supposed to be the biggest. I feel like I'm the biggest and I've been in this bitch three days. Three days. And it shows though. Yeah. It shows. So when, 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 when a nigga say I'm the biggest, so it's like, uh once I seen that shit, I was like, that nigga said, Yeah, shit, nigga shot me. And uh uh he ain't hit no more. That's all we gonna say about that. I, I uh okay, I went to trial. Say that no jumper. Okay, yeah, I yeah. said what? Yeah, yeah. So you sitting on your line, that's when that was in my mind. Like this bitch ass nigga said he beat a body. I'm not even really even peeping that it was Eddie Crawford that he was talking about, right? Until uh T Money said the shit. And then I was like, damn, that nigga's <sighs> Man, this is Eddie Crawford alive like a motherfucker. Alive and breathing and well and healthy. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean that you killed this man? Wait, the dude he said he killed is alive? <laughs> breathing well and healthy. Cause of the stole everything. That's what they say. Just having, just living life. And a nigga took your gun and shot you with your own gun. Let's not forget that. Let's start there. So why does he let him live like live with saying all of that? Because because like I said last night, bro, at, at, at some point in your life you gotta understand that uh like, the past is the past and uh we living in the present. And um what 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 are you gonna do? You gonna you gonna leave your family for a reputation? Well not even that, just kinda like, hey, I'm a I don't know, I'm alive. I don't know what he talking about. Because some people some like I said, some people ain't to the internet. Some people yeah. let you have that shit. And then you got niggas like me that'll come out and just be like, fuck you. <laughs> so what'd you think when you saw that first video? Because this is when the crash started, you know, going online. Um, that video of him in the park with that AR and then had that. No, 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 no. That ain't when it first started going down. What was the first? The elephant, the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room was when Big Dink. Free Big Dink. Freedom. When Big Dink went on Facebook Live mm -hmm. and had that nigga sister on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Will Hustle stole the content and I told Big Dink stupid ass. <laughs> Willie Bitch, Willie you need to go ahead and, 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 and drop that content on, on, on YouTube, boy. Mm -hmm. It don't matter if you got a channel, if you got nothing. All you got to do is say TT90 hashtag. Yep. And uh, that bitch going to pop. Boy, you got you got gold on your hands. Bro was just popping this shit, though. Big Dink was just popping this shit. And then that nigga sister started popping her shit. And that was the downfall of TT90. Oh. That's when it started going downhill. Yeah, that was that was. The that was when it started going downhill. The crash out started. After I that, that's when the videos start to surface. We gonna we gonna we gonna address the elephant in the room. You crashed out first, talking about your sister and your mama. What about Oman though? With the paperwork was before that, the grave digging. Exactly. Out. So that's that's what I'm. That's when his sister. That was from his sister. His sister. His sister. His sister, his sister got up there, and that's why she cool with O now and, and Terrence Gangster Williams, and that's why they tried to say that nigga career. Yeah. I think. Um, and shout out to those guys. How did he go? I, I would love to be on them niggas. I would love to be on them niggas platform. Shout out Gangsta. Yeah, shout out Gangsta. I, I would love. I would love. I would love to get on their platform. How did him? But how did him and Gangsta go from being being enemies, enemies to, being, to friend, being friends because of his sister? So Gangsta really did that. With, did, that. did what? They say he popped his I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't I'm pretty talk sure he said, they said that. But, they but said, I know, they I, I know, that, I, know right? I know that guys, I know that guys to love the troll. But then yeah. she got on live and like was hey, like hey, big head. So we all know what that hey, big head stand for. If you want to give him some pussy, or you didn't gave him some pussy. Dude, dude. 
And it was in person, so I, I imagine that he knocked it down. Oh, if they met in person, he yeah, fucked. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm sure. saying. They already had that yeah. arranged on the internet. He was going to fuck. He told her he was going to fuck her in the back of the uh, back of the hotel by the, by the, by the, uh, by the dumpsters. God, like God. the nigga on uh, Jason Lear. Yeah. Golly. So uh, when you saw um, KP, shout out KP, he's, he's in the chat. I, when you fu- saw I, him, fuck, I fuck with KP. When you saw him just, you know, they separated and he just started going in on Naughty. What did you think about that? It was crazy because uh, I was, I was, at first I was like, what the fuck? Uh, this the same nigga that I seen him at the store with. And that was on live said that he was his left hand man. Yeah. And then it was like, uh, once you start listening to the young nigga, uh, knowing Naughty. And knowing the nigga that he is, uh, you just you just have to gravitate to it. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, the young nigga ain't lying. Right. He talking his shit. Now everybody get a chance to talk their shit. Yeah. He, I mean, it, it, who am I to say that what he did was wrong? Like I told him to his face. Uh, uh, you, only only thing you did wrong was signing to a a a a, 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 a triple flopper. A a a triple zero, agent zero. Bro. zero. I knew Naughty was gonna fall out with KP. I knew he was gonna fall out with y'all. I knew he was gonna fall out with everybody, bro. Yeah. Like that's just his, yeah, his personality, bro. Yeah. He he wanna be he wanna be like God, and he mm. wants y'all to be his peasants. And then when you don't, he feel like like you know what I'm saying you wronged him. I yeah. did this. I did this. No, you didn't do this. This don't say Naughty. You know what I'm saying? Naughty, all, I mean, Naughty Media. Nigga, it's yeah. Pop so, hold on. So, so, so now we finna just, we finna address the elephant in the room right now real quick, though. Oh, uh, look, bro. So, what did the nigga tell you about me? All right. So, when I first ever met Naughty, like, first ever met Naughty, you know what I'm saying? He hit me up. He was like, uh, we was chopping it up or whatever. He was like, man, you need to post me or whatever. You need to post me. I was like, bro. I was like, bro, I got you, bro, whatever. Like, I don't even know who you are, bro. You need to get build a relationship with me or whatever. And he was like, man, I know your brother. Like, I know your brother. I know your brother. Like, we used to rob together. We used to do this, do this. You know what I'm saying? We was like this before I went to the feds. Then he started telling me all the stories about BG, you know what I'm saying, was his cellmate and stuff like that. Then I started talking to my big brother, you know what I'm saying? We don't, you know nah, what I'm saying? So, so, so after that, right, so uh, after the nigga ratted, I called my little brother last week. I think it was like last Friday. Uh, and uh, I asked him, I was like, bitch, what you doing? He was like, shit, just chilling. I was like, uh, what's up with it? What you got going on? I said, uh, you, 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 been watching, you been watching that boy, that, your, your boy Naughty? He said, who, Peter Alladay Jones? <laughs> Pierre. So we bust that laughing. That nigga said all bullshit aside, though, bro. That nigga said y'all was best friends, like type shit. Y'all used to rob niggas and and do this and do that, right then and there. Got hot. <laughs> it just sparked the flame in me. It just made me. It just pissed me off because uh, I'm a real nigga, and I ain't never did no shit like that. And I ain't never no, been no shit like that on my name. So if you gonna speak about me, if you gonna speak about my legacy in these streets, if you gonna speak about my legacy in this town. Nigga, speak facts. Speak speak that you heard about me squabbling and doing my thing. But the crazy yeah. thing about Naughty is, the crazy thing about Naughty, bro, he would throw some facts in the middle of some lies. Exactly. So, you would, you <laughs> so you would be like. So, yeah, so right then and there. And then I had a scene alive uh, where the nigga said my, actually, the nigga, we supposed to have an interview, me and, me and Yoda Bang supposed to have an interview with the nigga Stay Fly. I think that's the nigga name. Uh, he jumped on a live last night with us. Shout out Yoda, my guy. Shout out, Shout Yoda. out Yoda. That's my partner in crime right there right now. We uh we finna take over this YouTube shit. Yeah, y'all been running it up. We finna <laughs> fuck it up. We finna fuck around and run it up. Fuck around and run it up. You hear me? I love that little nigga. I've been knowing that nigga since he was a pup. Mm. Nigga go to that nigga house in Lakeside. Hey, hey, can Marcello and, uh, and Mario come outside? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, I forgot to shout out my niggas from Purple Sage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got. I can't. I can't forget the foe. Okay. Got to shout out my niggas. You know what I'm saying? JP. You know what I'm saying? New School Zone Bobby. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Action. My kid folk Double Raw. Trey. 
Uh, we got a uh, Momo. These are my Northeast brothers. Like, who know this many people? Like, why? Me. That like, nigga. Why, you know what I'm saying? Like, Shout out Romont. Shout out XO. Shout out my Q424 Razorback. Shout out the whole Lakeside, Tone, Randall, Fedu, uh, Walt, Brand, all the Mac Days. There's too many of you niggas to fucking name. It's like nine of you niggas. <laughs> I'm going to say all you niggas. Uh, shout out to all my niggas, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, after that, after that happened, I just, uh, I got on Yoda shit and I just popped my shit and the people loved it. And it was like, it was like, it was like so much therapy for me mm. to just get up there and, uh, cause I love going live, but people used to say I go, my, my, my women used to say I go live too much on Facebook. So, uh, hmm. um, I, I already had the presence. So it was like, Ooh, bam. And then I seen like, damn bitch. I, I watched the interview the next morning on my way to work, driving to San Angelo for three hours. That bitch rode the whole three hours and it was, and it was entertaining yeah. the whole three hours. It was like, it was like, damn, this this bitch is three hours long. I'm really sitting here listening to this shit for three hours long, and it's entertaining the oh, whole man. three hours. It ain't nothing that ain't entertaining. So I was like, bro, you fucking got it. I was like, nigga, you got it. So I hit up. I uh, I had got on YouTube the next day, and I had seen KP. I had my name on there, and I was actually on the phone with my brother Brandon, and uh. I was telling him, I was like, bitch, I'm finna start, I'm finna start a, a, a podcast. Fuck it. I'm finna ride down on this bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Hmm. I had too much fun last night. I'm sending niggas the video. Yeah. Bitch, check this whole thing. <laughs> check, bitch, check, bitch, check me out, bitch. Yeah. Bitch, I'm on YouTube talking shit, bitch. Check me out. Everybody, oh, bitch, you're talking to your shit, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you're talking to your shit, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, this is what real street niggas saying. Niggas that don't fuck with it. Bitch, when you get your shit, bitch, you gotta pop your shit, bitch, you gotta pull me up there. Bet, bitch, you know what's up. I don't know. He said I could pop my shit after yeah, 10, ten minutes. Yeah, he said I could pop my shit after ten minutes. I'm popping my shit, nigga. Don't slow me down, nigga. Popping my shit, nigga. So I so I so I seen I can go for two hours. And then I got on KP shit. And went for two hours. Yeah. Hey, shout out KP. And you know what I'm saying? Jose. I jumped on KP shit and went for two hours, nigga. Hard. What? And I and 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 and. and. What would he say in the comments, bro? Who was that? No, I'm talking about oh, when you was on KP shit. Okay, so listen. And I was speaking. I was speaking. Uh. Facts, and then I start speaking uh, nice facts about the nigga. Like, hey man, he probably need help and shit. Okay. But then uh, Brendan's had jumped up there, and uh, that's the nigga weak spot. Mm. Um, he still pussy whipped or something. Brendan's must be squirting on that nigga, or pissing on his chest, or, or shitting on his face, or something, doing something. Or she just stuck a dildo in his ass or something that he can't that he can't uh he don't want to get out My to the world or something. A good woman. My boy took uh, that bleach bag. Or something, or, or he just know that he, or, or he know that he lost a good thing, yeah, right? You know, he is. probably lost a good thing. Yep. Um, so when he seen me up there with Brandis, uh, the nigga said, "You pillow talking with with that whole Brandis," and then he said, uh, "That's good, that's cool, nigga. I know where you live." Oh man, hold on. First of all, nigga, I live with my motherfucking wife and my kids, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Charleston White. When it come to that, uh, nigga, I'm ready to go to jail or hell down my household. Got to. So I had to see. I had to. I had to do an ATX cribs how I'm living, um, just the garage version. And, and um, he still haven't topped it yet. Um, I had to show him like, hey, I live. I live across the street from the police. <laughs> that's how. That's how. That's how. Uh, that's how blessed me and my wife is. To both have a job, you know, take care of our business. That we can that that we can no longer live in the hood. We can live in Round Rock, uh, around the police. Um, I can, I I actually, a lot of times leave my keys in my car mm. <laughs> overnight. I leave my wallet in my car, mm. door wide open, mm. garage door open and shit. So I mean, I live in a safe community. I live in a very safe community. Um, so if you come out there and you look out of bounds. Your ass is grass. Yeah. So, uh, 
So don't, so don't, so don't try it, boy. So when he said that, it just pissed me off. See, I was gonna save the uh, future. I was gonna save future for uh, yo the bang shit. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we know who future is, right? No. Nobody know break who future down. is in this room. No. no. Break it down. Okay. Hold on. But uh, yeah, I, I had to bring I had to bring um, future future up. Um, rest in peace to his uh, beautiful beloved grandmother. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't like disrespecting the dead or no shit like that. You feel me? But uh, when you play with me, bitch, you get burned. Uh, <laughs> you done been playing with, with everybody. That's why everybody. So you like fucking with man. a real one? You mm -hmm. fucking with a real nigga? That 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 that. When you start talking about killing me mm. and, and and what you gonna do? You 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 know who Future is. Future is the uh. Future Future is his pop pop. Hold on. Jay Baker, he a pastor. Mm -hmm. So if a pastor now, if a nigga that's a pastor now <laughs> laughing that hard about a so-called street nigga, you know you ain't no street nigga. Yeah. Oh, Your name right. ain't ringing no bells, baby. But uh, anyway, Future is uh, a old school cat from Chicago that uh, Pierre put some uh, life into his grandma with, right? He uh, he uh, turned her on to him as a pen pal. And uh, what? Yeah, and uh, next day you know the guy uh, was getting money, so P.I. was fucked up about that. Uh, yeah. One of the dudes that he was in jail with, he... Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. gave his grandma to him, her... Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to, I was trying to put it out of him and, and have him tell me if he was getting extorted. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre, if you was getting extorted, please... Just say Please that because that sounds a lot better. You should you should have just you should they got a big old rat when you walk in the TDC now. They got a big old rat with a uh with a commissary bag on his back that say, Please don't get extorted. Wow. Bro. So you don't you shouldn't they said that he was getting three for he was giving three for ones uh honey buns, meaning he'll 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 get one honey bun and he gotta pay three honey buns on the stove. So he was he was freely extorting himself. What a clown. <laughs> What about this police chase then? So, okay, so according to the real Naughty, um, Pierre, I mean, Mr. 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 Point Five. It's crazy. This nigga named Pierre Naughty. This nigga so, named Pierre Yeah, Pierre so uh, he said that this nigga, uh, they, they went on a move and Pierre, and, and Pierre was in the back seat and Pierre called the law. And told the law that they kidnapped him. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch you are, boy. You are a pure bitch. Well, he said he got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Nah, he said he got kidnapped. Excuse me, officer. I'm in the back seat of a car that's on the speed chase right now. I'm you know what's, you know what's so crazy? They kidnapped me. You know what's so crazy? After everything that's been going on these last couple of weeks, I could believe that. Yeah. Like, you done made your name so bad that I could believe. You said I'll you got it. kidnapped as a grown man, kid. Now. Hey, but we're not saying that he, see, hold on. But nobody ever said, we all said that he from the east side, right? Yeah. We, uh, Dre, we all said that he's from the east side, right? We never we never took that from him. We know he's from Harvey Street, but he really not from Harvey Street. His grandma just lived on Harvey Street. And he, he you know, he was out there for a little bit, you know, doing his thing or whatever. But he ain't he ain't he ain't that. He Dre, you, you taking up for the nigga. Tell me what you know about this nigga. What the fuck did P out there? What did he do? What did he do in the streets? Lade. See, what what did Mr. Mr. Point Five do in the streets? You see him like, pistol charge, pistol charge. No, I'm playing. My boy got the charges. My boy went to the feds. What did he do? <laughs> Which project? Ah, right, what up, Kenny? Yeah, for sure. Meadowbrook, shout out Meadowbrook. Definitely shout out Metal Brooks with murder. Hold on, shout out Murder yeah. Side where the Crips be. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, shout out to the Lokes out there. Nigga know about you niggas. I ain't play with you niggas. But when I did come out there, I had a whole lot of respect and love. So I always hey, appreciated hey, you Kenny, niggas, man. Hey Kenny, if you see if you see Nisi, tell her I love her, man. I miss her. That's like my second mama. I swear to God, man. I swear. This one. So. Yeah, so now uh, we're going to get to how you took a nigga's story and uh, and made it made you a character. It made it yourself. Mm. My nigga MC Gusto. You got, you got, you, you said on no jumper, you said you got caught with 250 grams and 10,000. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Uh, you said you was riding in the coupe. I mean, you was riding the white thing on Swangers with Bubba Dean and Wilson. You ain't never had a slap in your life. That was a lie. Mm. Uh, you said after you got knocked out by Brandon Yet, you was whipping niggas on the yard. That's mm. a lie. Everything about you is a lie, boy. Oh, God, Kimmy. Everything about you is a lie. And I'm the nigga right here that, 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 uh, see, everybody else talk about what they, what they, what they doing. I squashed you, nigga. <clears throat> you ain't heard no more, Naughty, since I squashed him. After everybody else, he was still running, running and that raving and bitching and hoeing and doing all that. You ain't heard shit from that nigga after KP Live. He's been quiet. His bitch ass gonna come back outside. He can come back outside, but right now that bitch ass nigga on punishment. Sit your bitch ass in the corner, boy. Before I take my belt off, little nigga. It's belt to ass season. It's built to ass season, nigga. And see, this is what's wrong with niggas. niggas. Niggas feel like they can have topics on everybody else's life, but nobody can talk about them. Bitch, you are a personality. If somebody was to come out and start talking about me, I can't be mad and want to crash out. Mm -hmm. You see, I you see, hey. I know I know that I can run up some I know I can run up some numbers on my own, right? I know I can run up some numbers on my own, right? But I'm a I'm a tag team player. What? He said if it wasn't for your daddy, now he wouldn't even be blood. Now we ain't gonna take that one. No. <laughs> now he wasn't even in the streets when my daddy was alive. He wasn't bro. even a thing. When my daddy was so alive. So he stole. He stole that name from. Now he wasn't doing shit in 1995, brother. Oh God. That nigga ain't up under my daddy. At all. So uh, uh, whoever you are, Kenny, no disrespect. Don't ever nah, disrespect. That's my bro. That's don't. I don't give a fuck who that nigga is, nigga. Don't ever disrespect my motherfucking daddy name like that in your life again, bro. Please, respectfully, my nigga. Don't ever disrespect a legend like that in your life again, nigga. You putting disrespect on a real nigga name, nigga. Don't ever do that shit again, nigga. That's one thing I don't play about is my daddy name, nigga. You can play about any motherfucking thing else in this world, nigga, but don't play about B. Rush name, nigga. 
Keep be rushing name out your motherfucking mouth, nigga. You probably wasn't even old enough to even know nothing about no motherfucking B Russ. And you say you from Meadowbrook, so I know you don't know nothing about him. So keep his name out your mouth, bro, please. Now, yeah, he started Bloods, but that ain't got shit to do with him, though. Niggas started Crips. That mean that, that, that the bitch-ass niggas is up under him? now. Niggas got their own OGs. My daddy was dead before a nigga wanted to be something. So I'm just saying, please don't, 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 don't do it, bro. Just out of respect. If, 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 if you say you my little brother, bro, just respect our father. Because I'm really, I'm, 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 I'm really like that. No, no pun intended. No disrespect. I don't want no trouble with nobody. But that's one name I don't play about. I've been having a lot of fights my whole life about that name since I was ten. So uh, that's a touchy, that's a touchy name and a touchy subject. So yeah, we gonna we gonna. What, what what was the question, D? Again? Uh, well, let's go to um. Cause, so you started to go crazy on ninety. So I guess you just couldn't take it no more, especially once he mentioned you. I got it. Go ahead. He he told a story about ninety two. Ninety is named yeah. for somebody. Oh, yeah. Break that down, um, brother. He said uh, ninety two. The naughty name from somebody. And the nigga name was oh, Pierre. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, so right so there. the nigga, so the nigga naughty, so the nigga naughty took the nigga Pierre name, uh, and ran with it. Said that he got caught with nine ounces, and uh ten thousand dollars, and uh that was a lie. Uh, but then at the same time, the nigga said uh, the nigga said that uh, he. What did he say? He was riding around with Bubba Dean and the and Wilson in the white lack. That was a lie. But then it's like everything about you is a lie, bro. Like you should have just named yourself Naughty Junior. And then it's like it's it's like this man named Pierre, your name Pierre. And then you counted yourself Naughty. So niggas that was down, you know, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? They know of a Naughty. They know of a Pierre, right? Certain, you know. When you hear the name in the streets, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. When a nigga say naughty, that name already ring bells. Oh, he's a finesse boy. Mm -hmm. That name already ring bells. God damn. I, I I don't know why he was uh, arrested for armed robbery. Ooh. That nigga uh probably naughty, but uh just because you was arrested for armed robbery don't mean you was just out here jacking. I can go. I can go rob an innocent person and get armed robbery. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I mean? You was really out here like that, like you was robbing. Six people. nine definitely was never a street nigga, but six nine did more. Six nine did more to people, putting hits on people than Naughty did, and that's how he got jammed up. I just don't understand how he was talking so much about rap. He a rat. That a rat. He a rat. And then you read it. I can break down whatever you want me to break down street clothes. We're gonna have him back right now. It's just, you know, we're getting this story and um, you know, how he popped up on the scene, which is you know, going in at Naughty. Um, so what where where are you feeling right now as far as Naughty? Are you still wanting to go in on it? Oh, it's built to ass season, nigga. <laughs> It's belt to ass season, nigga. I, I, I'll be riding through the east side on a Where's Wildo tour. <laughs> because you say you in the trenches and you, I'm going to be everywhere. You never be there. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, 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 uh, I'm on this nigga neck. Nigga said he was going to kill me. I don't, I don't got no gloves is off on the bitch ass nigga. Do you know anything about the grave digging story? 
Oh, no. I, I, I know that nigga. To work on it. I know that that nigga is a sherm head. Well, was a sherm head. Nah, they used to do that. You shit. never know what a sherm head would do. No, nah, for real. He already admitted on Terrence Gangsta shit then in the same sentence said, nah, I ain't gonna take that. Nigga, you already admitted that you was. That was crazy. Terrence said, Terrence said, how far did you get? Do. Yeah, cause Naughty a bitch, and and, and and bitch ass niggas need to be put in their place sometimes. When you when you fuck with a real nigga, and you fuck with a nigga of, of my standard and my caliber, and, and and my street cred around this bitch and my name, when you fuck with a nigga like that, this what your pussy ass get, nigga. Yeah, cause if I knew, cause if, I'm gonna look straight in the camera. Cause if I knew your bitch ass would fight, nigga. If I knew your bitch ass would fight, boy, I beat your, I beat your bitch ass, nigga. If I knew your bitch ass would fight, yeah, nigga. If I knew your bitch ass could fight, I beat your bitch ass, nigga. And that's on my pops, nigga. Nigga. If I knew you wasn't gonna have no gun, bitch, and I love my life like I do. Bitch ass nigga, I go upside your chin, pussy. I told this bitch. And that's on that nigga. I told him the same thing. He ain't gonna fight. He ain't gonna fight. Nah, I'll beat the fuck out of my nigga. Anybody good man can barely walk. So what's up? Calling him crazy legs. <laughs> Let's talk about um. <laughs> All right, so what's uh what's next for you guys on YouTube? Oh shit, man! I got uh I'm gonna be walking. I'm gonna be doing interviews around the city. Uh, I'm gonna be uh promoting black businesses. Yes, Lord. At the same time, I'm gonna be popping my motherfucking shit, and I'm gonna be speaking that real shit. I ain't ain't nothing flaw about me. Uh, nigga, when you come on me, when you come on the stage with me and Yoda, when you come in our chat, you can always pop your ass up on the stage if you got something to say. If you one of them, if you one of them Twitter, fi Twitter finger niggas, mm. if you if you if you got a lot to say in the comments, you can get your motherfucking ass up there and say it for for yourself. Get on that stage. Yeah, I'm one of them niggas. I'm popping my shit on any and everybody, and it, it, whether it's real or I talk bad, I talk crazy to you. Like I told that nigga last night. Hey, I got a bone to pick with you, nigga. You the last nigga who had an interview with that nigga Naughty, right? Yeah, that was me. You, so you was the nigga that was jumping up and down in the video with a rat, nigga. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, oh, no, nah, nigga. You was a little too comfortable on the side of a motherfucking rat, nigga. I'm that nigga. <laughs> so how do you feel about, like, uh, breaking down topics? Because I know, you know. I'm, 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 I'm down to break down any topic the nigga want to break down. I actually, I actually came off in this bitch with a... With a with a agenda to break down the topic that I was listening to with that nigga uh, earlier with that nigga uh, Yellow Beezy. Well, let's talk about it. So, uh, did you see it with Sean Cotton and all the bloggers and shit? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, I feel like I feel like Yellow Beezy got a, a real point mm -hmm. because uh, the blogs definitely can turn niggas against each other and make shit bigger than it is. Definitely. When shit could just die down. Uh, I definitely can. I definitely believe that. I think that. Uh, I think that Yellow Beezy, some of the shit that he was saying was was real. He was like, "Shit, niggas, I wasn't giving niggas what they wanted to see." But hold on, wait, 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 wait. I don't feel like blogs, cause we don't make nobody say nothing, fam. Like facts. Like, but what? He, but what? Like, like he was saying, like, like Sean Cotton said, if I fuck with this nigga, mm -hmm. and I don't post your shit. Then I'm on his side. Right. If I post your shit and I don't fuck with this nigga, I'm on his, I'm on his side. But if I post both of y'all shit, then I'm playing in, both sides. Exactly. You feel me? Like, damn. So a nigga, a, a blogger is really in between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. For real, exactly. Because you gotta you gotta choose sides on niggas that you really don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's 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 sort of just like the shit with Naughty, right? Yeah. You Naughty want to make Zay choose a side. You fuck with me or you fuck with KP? Yeah. Why well, I can't fuck with we both of y'all? I don't, I don't Ain't like nobody no died. KP. Ain't nobody lost no money. Exactly. Like why can't I rock with both of y'all? Exactly. If y'all see each other, y'all ain't gonna kill each other. Not like, even knowing that all these niggas had an album together. Right. Mo three, Trap Boy, Freddie, Freddy, Go, yeah, yo. yo. All, all these niggas had an yeah. album together that didn't drop um, because of because because of, of pride. Yeah. And, and, and personal feelings. That could have been probably the biggest thing to touch Texas. So, uh, it's not fair, sorry. Like, how is it not fair, side? We post what you say, and then we post what they say. Like, it's right. not like we post, well, he said this, or we cut out this person say we whatever you say, if he got on your ass better than he got on, or better than you got on his ass, that's your fault. We ain't had nothing to do with that. If the fans gravitated to what he said, oh, y'all play, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all, uh, giving him all look. No, nah, we posted what he said, we posted what you said. If yep. they liked what he said, that's just that. We can't tell him to go like what he said. Facts. So it's like it's like with that, it's it, it it's it's really it's really like you 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 damn if you do and you damn if you don't, right? For sure. So if this nigga mad and he and his feelings, like uh like Yellow said, like nigga, I just didn't want to do that shit. So now I'm still posting Mo three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It looked like I fuck with Mo three more. Yep. All right. Right? Yeah. Naughty and Chris got into it because Chris was posting, you know, Rainwater while Naughty and Rainwater was beefing. And Naughty went at Chris. That was like the first time they, you know, got into it. You said what? um, Naughty and Chris had got into it because Chris J. Jackin had posted, you know, Rainwater on his Instagram. So Naughty started to crash out. Yeah, that's pussy shit. That's that. That's that. You my friend, so you can't be his friend, bro. I'm a grown ass man. What did he do to you? And half the time when niggas, when niggas, and this is a proven fact, stop being in beef with other people because of other people. Half the time you don't even know why this nigga don't even like this nigga. Half of the time he didn't this even nigga know don't, this nigga, This nigga might don't like this nigga over a female or <laughs> over anything. Mm. And here it is, you might, and it always be the nigga, hold on, it always be the savior nigga that ain't got nothing to do with it that die. Yep. And the nigga that and the, and the nigga who got the beef about the bitch or whatever he's still living. Mm-hmm. It, it it that's just how it go. Y'all talking about giving credit to a nigga who said he gonna kill somebody? That's crazy. Who I ain't, I ain't giving credit to shit. Nigga said, nigga said nigga said I'm gonna kill you. You said give him credit. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. That's that's preposterous. You should but you should real re- fan or not, you yeah. gotta be crazy in the head by now. You but know all I'm saying? saying is, if a nigga said they was gonna kill you, you gonna give them credit. Just think about that, like as a person, not as a not just like for real. Like what? That's stupid. It would be crazy. Oh y'all still be having the naughty, the naughty fans over here? Oh yeah, <laughs> we we'll let them ride in the chat. Yeah, for sure. You got so, to. So yeah, so that 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 uh. That was that, but if you got another one you want to do, D, I'm I'm down for it. Yeah. Uh, what you think Just about so, the, the Brick Baby crash out? I think I think Brick Baby I think Brick Baby uh I think Brick Baby was kind of tricked too at the same time, right? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Because like I feel like certain shit shouldn't get out if we if we if we work in the same uh in a in a circle, right? Yeah. So, but uh with the whack one hundred shit. It's like this, like I said on KP page. This is what Wack does. Yep. Wack, when you listen to Wack on YouTube, he breaks down niggas' paperwork. He dissects snitches. Good too. Yeah. <laughs> good. He'll be, be on his job. He'll be ten ninety so, check boy. Them boys. So good. I mean, so so why why is people mad at that? But then also like, uh, it's like. Adam, it's like Adam. Adam just a a, a a a white boy stuck in between a whole lot of gangster niggas. Yeah, that's why. And I, he I, don't I, understand I, the politics of of bringing all these gangs together. Yeah, for sure. That 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 you gonna have this type of shit because certain niggas have certain slang that they not finna change when they up there. Yeah, right. It, it's just it's just the way of nature. This is how they talk. So the nigga probably didn't even mean no disrespect when he said, "Let me get a nap." 
But that's just how he talk with his niggas every day. Right. Brick Baby didn't take no disrespect to it, but that's one thing about it. That's another thing. These internet bloggers, these niggas that sit back and dissect niggas and, and, and try to come up with narratives on shit right. and make shit bigger than it is, that's the same thing that nigga Yellow yeah. Beezy was okay, saying. Okay, I feel that in, that in that sense. In that sense. That shit could get a nigga killed. Yeah. Yeah. If you start putting out narratives, exactly. you're, no, you're no longer like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. now you yeah. everybody putting out narratives, our oh, brick baby let this nigga uh, disrespect the set. Woo, 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 woo. Right. So then now... You got Brick Baby on the phone call or whatever. I ain't even listened to it, what he talking about with Dirk or whatever. I ain't heard that. But I, I heard something about it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I just think that nigga Brick Baby, niggas be going through shit, right? So I think that nigga Brick Baby just had enough. You don't know yeah. what that nigga going through. You don't know how much that nigga. And then, like just like Naughty. A person can only take so much before they crash out. Yeah. And then, like, bro, like, what you were saying, though, like, some bloggers, like, when we, like, when they put stuff like that, bro, it's clickbait. Like, exactly. Yeah. We don't think, you I mean, you don't, they don't think, because I don't do that, but they don't think that, like, somebody gonna crash out because I mean, they clickbait. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? When you watch the video, you know what I'm saying? You hurt niggas' heart because the same thing with uh, Double G's and Rainwater. Right. They came up here because they felt the way about what Chris said about them. Yeah, right. They came up here to check something. That's what they came up here to hey, do. All I'm gonna say, man, hey, shout out Chris, bro. They said you got pressed, bro. You ain't get pressed, bro. Like you ain't get pressed, bro. Real niggas know you pull up one deep, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They made a statement. Yeah, for sure, for real. And 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 I don't think Double G feel like he pressed you either. And that's what that what that's what I feel like. The misunderstanding happened. Cause, yeah. Because I don't feel and, like Double G's tried to press you, and I didn't feel like you got pressed. Yeah. You and, feel me? And, and we know that not even a mark before he uh before he ran it. We been knowing not he was a uh, mark. Tell us something that we don't know. We all keep telling y'all that uh we was really just letting them have the lane because nobody wanted to get into this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now I want to get into this shit. <laughs> so he can't have the lane no more. I'm the biggest. Are you here? So here I am. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I hit Dean them up like two days ago. Yeah, bro. Both of my on brothers. My first day, on my first day. On my first. On my first. On my first. On my first day after my first live. I think I hit them up. And uh, last night I really could have came last night right after Chris J. Jackin, but nigga, I was so motherfucking high and we was on Yo the Bang shit going off. So hey. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We got to deliver our content too so that I can have content so that I can come to places like this and talk my shit. Pop your shit. I told you, this is sports in there. Like them niggas, like, like, like when I called niggas today and told niggas I was going to be on this bitch, nigga, everybody was hype. KP. Shout out KP. Nah, for his phone was nonstop stop ringing. Hey, shout out KP. I called my boy KP. Hey, you finna be on Pop Austin? Watch I called my, I call my, I call my, I like, I call my boy KP. I said, hey, bitch. He said, what's up, bitch, bro? I said, yeah, bitch. It's up. He said, what you talking about? I said, I'm going to the pop. And I said, you going to pop Austin? I said, hell yeah. He said, yeah, it's over with. That nigga said, hell yeah, bro. That's what's up. That nigga said, uh, they pre-recording or they going live? I said, I don't know. I'm going to see when I get there. That nigga said, nigga, make sure they go live. <laughs> and he did. And hit me before they go live. And I made sure they asked we're live because I got another interview coming up with Trey 600. See, that's how quick I came in the game. You understand it now. That's how quick I came in the game. So fast. So I had to tell them, like, on some real men shit, like, hey, bro, I don't want y'all content to get crashed with nobody else content. So if, if we going to do it, let's do it. Anytime I come, let's do it. Mm. I'm ready, willing, and prepared. I think the people want to see me. They want to see you. They want to see you break down topics. So y'all going to see uh, Lakeside Cole some more here. Uh, you know, we used to do the round table. You know, uh, Austin, we up. So we definitely got to bring that back. You man, know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie, man. Like, I had, I got a 15-month-old, right? And oh. I got a two-month-old. Oh, wow. Like, when I tell you I've been having kids and just... Like, I haven't been posting. I noticed. I haven't been sleeping. Like, bro. Yeah, I'm still waiting on this, I'm like, still waiting on this bitch ass nigga to make my million dollar motherfucking me uh, shorts. Huh? Honda. The cord. 
<laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah. I, I, you were supposed to, you I screen recorded it, bro. You were supposed to oh, be yeah, dropping the motherfucking shorts. Bro, but that's why I tell y'all y'all sports in the bro, cause y'all work so fast yeah. and y'all works it's y'all, a lot of work. y'all cut off like bro, it's a lot it's of a work, lot bro. Of work. Like bro, they do it so fast. You wanna bro, be like, rich or you wanna be broke? Hold on, 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 See, hold so on. I got notifications coming through. I stopped doing it. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want you, hey you want to get rich, or you want to be broke? We got opportunity in front of us, bro. That this we got We got to seize why, the moment. This is why this is my big brother. I we got to seize the moment. That's what a lot of niggas don't do. They don't. When you got the crowd, you got to seize the fucking moment. Mm. Yeah. Right now, I'm seizing the moment. Uh, I'm actually. I think I'm. A, I'm gonna try. Um, to do an interview with my mom uh, today, actually, uh, on my way to uh, uh, Oklahoma. That'd be classic. No, for real. Um, I yeah, let my man. mom. I let my mom get on my on, on my platform and tell you niggas my story, so you niggas won't ever think that I'm telling y'all nothing flow. Mm. See, that's that's what real niggas do. I ain't, I ain't gonna never bash my mama on no motherfucking internet. You better not. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if my mama was selling pussy. Or doing whatever she was doing, nigga. The internet will yeah, never know that. Right, that's fair. That'll never be a story. That that'll never be a story that I make. Likes. That I make. Clear. For clickbait, just to make my mama look bad. Mm-hmm. I, I can never respect a man like that. And then you say that your mama was dead. Yeah, I don't know what to believe. But then you try. But then let me shut up, bro. Cause I, I I was about to say something, but nigga, shout out to motherfucking me, Pop Austin. Medium sure. for show. Sure. This shit classic. I sure appreciate it. This is my first time in media. Uh hey, I are, think I'm kind of pretty time, fucking hold good. On, hold on, your first time on media, you at Sports Center. What the fuck? What the fuck? Boy, shot straight to the top. <laughs> 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 straight to the pros out of high school. Straight to the pros. <laughs> How y'all think he did hey, though? He did. I, I did you know? good. You know how many people wanted to come up here that we backlogged on that you know not gonna come out here, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you know so, what's crazy? It's like different being up here, like I'm shaking and shit. It's like different when you see that you know what I'm saying? Like, dog, it's crazy. It's like way different it's different since the last time yeah, you know, for we done sure, do like fifty thousand subscribers. I'm like, bro, y'all y'all bro, y'all doing y'all thing, fam. Shout out to y'all boys for real. Yeah, it's hard work, and we need people like y'all. Hey, man, shout out to my mama. Shout out to our brothers, man. I know they watching it. Shout out, my man. Shout shout out out my mama, Lisa King, man. I love you, baby. Shout out to my wife. I love you. I'll be nothing without Shout out to my daughter, Demaya King, Tiana King, uh, June, KK, Kimani, King. Mm -hmm. Uh, I love y'all, man. Uh, Peter yeah. Cole, Bree, this a, Bishop, I love y'all. This a, this a, this out, this, this 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 a motherfucker. I don't get but, outside much, man. If it I'm, 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 I'm uh, nowhere, man. I can tell. Be locked in, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow Austin We Up on YouTube and Instagram right now, man. If y'all want to see more Lakeside Cole, I appreciate. And if y'all want to see, you know, just the the Austin hip hop community, man, he got it on lock on IG. So y'all make sure y'all tap in. Y'all will see these cats more. Um, any last minute words for the people? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, D and Jet, man, I wanna, uh, I wanna thank y'all, bro. Plus, I wanna say this, uh, I wanna come up here with. He's not my artist, I, cause I don't, I don't got a label. But I want, I wanna bring uh, two, two rappers from the city up here. Just let me know when. Um, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's, you know what I'm saying? Like two or three, probably my little brother XO and, and my kid folks, uh, two, uh, two for Razorback. Uh, I want, I want, I want, I want to promote them. Yeah. I actually, uh, Savas, if uh, if you can get in touch with me, sis, uh, I want to really promote Drake. Yeah. I really, really want. I really, it. I really, I really want him to. Um, I really want him to blow the way that he should. He should. Um, I think you should get him away from that fuck ass nigga before he fuck up his career. Mm-hmm. He's a great kid, and uh, he he got a bright future ahead of him. So uh, if I can do anything to help him get a head start. On life, um, you uh, you always know how to get in contact with me, sis. Um, and uh, yeah, that's real talk, real nigga shit. Um, right. So uh, yeah, man, uh, y'all blessed, man. Have a good day, man, and uh, be on the fucking lookout, man, for Austin. We up, man, cause we going up. Yes, Lord. You understand oh, me? I didn't get to do my shout out. Guys. You, you got it, girl. Yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out, man. I want to shout out OTM Zay. Shout out Zay, man. Chris Jackin, Chris, Chris J Jackin. 
Pop Austin, because I watch y'all every night. I promise you. Y'all my entertainment, bro. Like, Appreciate you. I don't know what's going on in the world of media until y'all talk about it. I'd be like, damn, that happened? Like, when that happened? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I just think it's crazy that Naughty went at Chris, that he went at Zay. I just think it's a better space now. It's oh, like yeah. it's a different energy. Yeah, no black cloud over there. <laughs> no the black cloud, no yeah. But yeah, shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to... Everybody in the city. Shout out to Trey Six Hundo. Shout out, Trey Shout out to Hundo. all the blogs out there that's doing their shit. You know what I'm for saying? Real. But yeah. All right, man. We appreciate y'all coming through for real, for real. Lakeside Co. Man, it's been an honor, my guy. Congratulations, uh, you know, and good luck on your future endeavors. Hey, you know what I'm saying? facts. This ain't the last they gonna see of us. Oh though. no, no, yeah, but I know you are gonna turn your YouTube up, and I know it's yeah, gonna be hard shit. work. Y'all gotta put but in no, that no, work. But the thing about it is, see, the thing about it is, my nigga. If we can make a day, uh, I'll be I'll be gracious. We locked in, man. We gonna that's, that's, I'll be gracious and blessed. We I think the fans, in. ask the fans. Let's ask the fans. Y'all think I should get a day to come up here and talk or what, man? You know what I'm saying? Let's let's make something happen. Let's make Austin great. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pipe it up. Y'all pipe it up. We pipe it up. It's Austin. We're gonna pipe up the fucking city. Yes, sir. It's Austin, we up, Pop, Pop Austin. We're talking you know what I'm the saying? world right now. Everything, man. everything Austin. I can't, I can't do it. Anything with Austin on it, we we supposed to pipe up. That's that's what I'm on. Anything with Austin, and we supposed to pipe the fuck up. Pipe up. Yeah. So y'all niggas be safe, be blessed, be great, stay solid, stay stiff, and stay away from fuck niggas in this land, nigga.